Hello Gemini, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies between you and whoever you are or will be dealing with, um, a little bit more about them, and then what can you expect next. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and don't forget to check out your other placements uh, for additional messages because sometimes those can resonate more than your sun sign. All right, so let's jump right in for Gemini, Spirit, Angels, Guides. What can Gemini expect in love? What can Gemini expect in love? What can Gemini expect in a love? Okay, so I'm going to be um, doing a simple nine card spread. So three cards will be for the current energies between you and this other person. Three cards on the second row will be for who you might be dealing with. And then the final three cards will be what you can expect next. Gemini, you show up to your own reading. Wow. Bottom of the deck, the two of cups. Beautiful. So let's break this down a little bit um, before. I just want to look at the cards together before I bring out the energy oracles. So in the current energies between you, we have the Queen of Swords, the Page of, so uh, of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. So I feel like right now... Um, there could be the possibility of some sort of communication or information being exchanged between you and another person. You could be observing this person on social media. They could be observing you. Um, and then the seven of swords is telling me I'm getting someone that's doing this like behind your back. Um, it's like someone's observing you behind your back. Um, I also get the sense that you're not aware of someone's true intentions at this time, Gemini. I'm not sure why. We'll, we'll clarify and see. But I don't see you being really aware of what someone wants with you. When we jump to the second row, um, all about who you might be dealing with, we have the lovers, Gemini energy, first card out, the nine of pentacles, and a te temperance card, Sagittarius energy. Um, so I get the sense that this person views you as a a very special person. Um, I'm, I think when they think of you, um, they think about someone that they had a strong connection with. Um, I think they see you as very independent. Um, now in this particular deck, the Nine of Pentacles looks like the Eight of Cups in a way, but it's not, it's the Nine of Pentacles. So I get the sense that this person feels that when they think of you, you're very distant from them. Um, it's like maybe there's even a physical distance between you and them. And you're doing well wherever you are at. I think they're also thinking about independence for themselves. I'm not sure why they would need to be independent, but that's kind of what I'm getting. It's like they want to meet you somewhere or meet you halfway. And then Temperance is telling me that something is slowly coming together for this person. Maybe they're slowly making something happen. Maybe they are working on something that's taking time, energy, um... I feel like there's some sort of resolution that this person is aiming for. And then in the what you can expect next, we have the six the six of swords in the middle. The first that's the card that really uh stood out to me at first and then the tower <laughs> right after it I was like, okay, so some sort of like departure that someone is considering that will bring about a tower. The Queen of Wands is here as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I think someone's taking, I don't know. It's like they're being bold enough to have this departure and cause a tower. And we kind of had this energy recently in the reading that you had, Gemini, where someone was willing to risk it all. And I think that's the same energy here. So I'm not going to clarify all of these. Um... I am going to just clarify the ones that I want to get a little bit more insight on. But before I do that, let's get some energy oracles out here. Spirit, tell us some more um, information about the energies between Gemini and this other person. What do we need to know about the energies between Gemini 
and this other person? What do we need to know about the energies between Gemini and this other person? Happy ending. Wow. Okay. Can I get one more? Get one more card for the energies between Gemini and this other person. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Oh, I got two. Tied up and taking action. Okay, so yeah, I feel like someone um, felt a bit stuck and like maybe they didn't know what to do or they didn't have any options available to them. Maybe they were trapped in a situation. Um, I think someone's taking action to get out of that and that's probably why the tower is here. Past life at the bottom of the deck. Put this one here. And let's get to clarifying. I already kind of shuffled this deck. My little clarifier deck. If you're interested in any of the decks that I use, they're listed in the description box. All right, so Page of Swords. I really want to break this down. Mm -hmm. You make them think with the Hermit. And it's like you inspire them to work on themselves or to work on making something happen. I don't know why this is here. Okay. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. These are the current energies between you. So both of your energies are here. So Gemini, take this as it resonates. You know, this could be you observing the person you're interested in and wanting to like work on yourself. The Emperor, Aries energy. Again, uh, the Emperor is a doer. Taking action is here. So like, um, but, but it's like action or doing something behind the scenes or away from public view or something like that. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Hierophant, Taurus, Energy, and then there's the Tower. So there might be a reason why they're doing this behind the scenes. Because maybe they're responsible to someone else. Or they don't want to... Maybe they're seen as an upright, standing type of person. Someone with authority. Or maybe they're seen as someone that's like a leader. Um, a father figure or a parental figure. Um, and I think that this would disrupt... Like them being found out would disrupt this thing they got going on. I hope that makes sense. I feel like this is somebody that they have to hide the fact that they are observing you and thinking about you for some reason. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Taurus, a Virgo, another air sign. Sagittarius is here as well. Gemini is here. There's a lot of swords <laughs> on this spread. You know, thoughts, intellect, communication, information, truth. And then the tower. So the tower could be a revelation of this. Can I get one more for the seven of swords? Some of you are dealing with a person who should not be interested in you. But they are. Tell me about the seven of swords. Like they're, they might be tied up somewhere else and they they should be busy there, but instead they're thinking about you. Okay, one more for the Seven of Swords. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. So right after that, we have the Knight of Wands. So I think that this is someone that's thinking about action. Maybe they're thinking about a future with you. Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. I think this person, even though the Seven of Swords is here, when I clarify, it's all cards of like someone that would be upstanding, morally superior, or they have a lot of morals, values, traditional person, someone that does the right thing, um, practical person, dedicated person, etc., etc., etc. So I feel like this is someone who typically wouldn't be a Seven of Swords, but they are when it comes to you. Some of you are dealing with someone married or in a commitment already, they should not be paying attention to you, but they are. I think if people would find out what they're actually doing behind the scenes, they would be seen as 
the opposite of this, right? A seven of swords. So let's find out a little bit more about this person. We have the lovers, the nine of pentacles, and temperance. Well, I want to find out about this nine of pentacles. I think this person is very drawn to you, Gemini, um, attracted to you. They think you're very intelligent. I don't know why they would know that, but intelligence is like coming out. It's not just your looks. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. Eight of swords. So this is about freedom, independence. This is them feeling a bit, possibly even fearful with the eight of swords or stuck. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. Why is the nine of pentacles here? Ace of Cups, wow. Nine of Swords. I think that this person is um, afraid of um, the way they feel. It, you know, especially if they're not supposed to be feeling this way for you, I can understand, you know. I also get the sense that they probably are picturing a new beginning with you that's more fulfilling emotionally. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person... Um, I think you're staring something in them. Why is temperance here? And I also feel like meeting you, talking to you, observing you, they feel more restricted for some reason. Tell me about temperance. Why is temperance here? Oh yeah, Queen of Cups. I think that this, they've developed feelings over time. Or their feelings are balancing out when it comes to you. Like maybe they were torn about you. Tell me about temperance. Yep, empress. So we have the emperor and the empress on the board with the knight of cups at the bottom of the deck. I think if this person, because I have past life here, so I feel like you have a history with this person in some way, or they're a past life connection. I think that they, um, over time they've realized that you are their divine counterpart, that you are the person they're meant to be with, or that they have these feelings for you, period. Let me get a stellar rainbow. Can we get some insight into this person's energy? The person that Gemini is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person's energies? What do we need to know? about this person's energies. What do we need to know? Spirit. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this person could have um, fire in their chart somewhere, but I'm also getting passion, creativity, um, attraction, confident at the bottom of the deck, secure and self-assured. I think this person um, taking action, fire sign, um, confident and then the queen of wands here with the tower I think this person is waking up to this like feeling of being bold going after what they want being very passionate motivated taking action can I get one more for this person's energy can I get one more for this person's energy hope dreams and longing oh yeah this person is hopeful Longing to be with you or longing to make something happen in the future. Let's look at this tower because I feel like this tower is the main, I don't know. It's like the main driving force here, the main like event. <laughs> Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Oh my God, clarify by the tower. What is happening? And death at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio energy. This is big. I think something's coming down. That's what I heard, coming down. Or this will be very shocking um, or bring about an, uh, a cycle ending. I don't know why, but for some reason, this is like related to you. Page of Cups and Six of Cups. Look at that. I think that someone's going to reveal how they feel. Uh, an apology, an expression of interest, expression of love, expressing their feelings towards you. This will be possibly a shocking thing or something that surprises you. 
It's tied also with a departure. I don't see direct action. I see someone leaving a situation. Can I get one more for the Six of Swords? Why is the Six of Swords here? Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Queen of Swords shows up again. And I don't feel like this is communication. I think this is you. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. So this person, I feel they're they're coming forward in a small way because these are pages. Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Small tokens, a small action. Um, I don't think that this is going to be like the end of everything um how do i put this um all everything that's supposed to happen in this connection it's not going to happen this second half of march i think it's the beginning with this tower this tower will start everything will begin everything let's get a stellar guidance deck what do we need to know spirit about the near future energies for gemini what do we need to know? What do we need to know about the near future energies for Gemini, for Gemini? What do we need to know? Be careful, number 27. What else? Well, towers are not easy. This person, I feel, is also being very careful the way that they approach this whole thing. That's why the Seven of Swords is up there with the Emperor. So it's like calculated strategies, calculated risks. Any more guidance messages for this situation near future energy for Gemini? Fall. So I feel like this is going to be developing over time, Gemini. This won't be happening quickly. I feel like this is going to be happening little by little. And don't forget that the Two of Cups was at the bottom of the deck here. And it's almost like there's a soulmate uh, energy in this spread with the Six of Cups, the Lovers, and the Two of Cups here. Not to mention the Ace of Cups. So, you know, this could very well be something that's slowly coming together for you, Gemini, and this other person. I'll leave it here, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Hit the like button if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.